Hello guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can check if an object is seen by a camera. So this will be in three videos and let's begin the first one. So let's get into it. So the first method will be uh, by using the on became visible and on became invisible um, function. So basically this is a kind of function using by unity and we'll see how this thing works. So the first thing we need to do, so we need to create, a, so let's create a game object. So let's create a cube, a simple cube. Let's uh, reset his uh, transform. And as you can see over there, we can see uh, the cube uh, on my scene like this. So um, I will create uh, a script. So let's create a C sharp script and let's create, uh, let's call it uh, check uh, specific uh, visibility game object. Uh, oops, game object like this. Okay, and let's open it in Visual Studio. Okay, so after opening it in Visual Studio, I don't need the start as an update function. I can remove this. And what we want to do, we want to uh, basically create a function. So let's create the first function. So the first function will be private um, void. So be careful of the spelling because the spelling is important. So don't uh, mess with the spell. So on became invisible, okay? And the other one, I think you see um, the other one, so private void on became visible. So um, what I will need to do, so I will uh, serialize some field. So let's serialize some field. Or uh, maybe, now you, you know what, I will use something else because I don't want to use a serialized field. So what I will need to do, I will just need, I will just create a debug dot log. And uh, the debug.load will say uh, the uh, game object game object uh, is not visible by the camera because this function is on became inv invisible and the other one I think you guessed it so the game object is visible by the camera. So um, to be aware on uh, of, of the change, what I will need to do, so I will say I will say game object. So I will basically I will attach the script to the game object. So I will say game object dot get component. So I will uh, looking for the render. So let's dot get component. And um, let's go looking for the render renderer okay and uh, i will check the uh, material and i will say the material will be equal to so if you don't know this uh, this little chip so you can you can basically change something by using the resources folder so it's a resources folder dot load and what i want to load i want to load uh, material so ma uh, material okay and I will look for uh, so uh, material uh, slash and let's looking for the red and for the other one because it's visible I will put it on green so um, now uh, let's head back to unity after saving this so we need to create the resources folder and uh, a material folder in the resources folder let's create a material folder and the green material so let's head back to unity so i think i already got a resources folder nice let's create a folder let's call it materials and let's create some materials uh, and there it is material so let's create the green one and the other one so i will duplicate this one and let's call it red and what i will need to do i just need to change the color so for the red i will put red and for the green i think you guessed it i will put the green so let's uh, add it on the on the the script to the cube so the the script is called check uh, specific visibility on game object we can save this and now let's see what is happening so um, let me explain basically what the the script does so basically 
uh, the script is a function um, is a basic function of Unity, and it will just check if uh, it will just execute what it's doing in this function when the um, object is seen by the camera or not seen by the camera. So basically, uh, as soon as the as, um, the game object is seen by the camera, the render should be turned in green, and as soon as it's not seen by the camera, it should turn it should turn red. So let's see what uh, how, how this thing work and uh, let's hit play and let's see the magic happen. So right now my cube is white and as you can see because uh, my main camera uh, my cube is in the main camera this sync work but there is something I don't know why <laughs> Unity uh, did that but if I uh, move out the cube outside the um, the screen basically this should turn uh, uh, red you're right so let's move the cube so like this and as you can see nothing happened and you know why this is very something common and some people don't know it it's because the cube is also rendered on the scene uh, the scene part so if you want to check how this thing work you just need to close these windows and uh, you will see the um, the cube will basically turn uh, red. So maybe I need to close uh, the scene. Let's restart. Uh, let's restart the 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 scene. So let's hit play again, and you will see. So basically, this cube is turning a green. So we can see it and is seen on the debug. The game object is visible by the camera. And if I moved it, so let's move it outside the camera. And as you can see, the debug is working. The game object is not visible by the camera and is turning red. But as soon if I just turn up the scene, he will turn green because it's rendered on the scene. And even if I if I head back, you can see it's turning to red. So if you're using this uh, this uh, this um, this method um, made by Unity, be careful because you can it can drive you crazy so that was that was the first method on how you can check um, how uh, how to know if a game object is inside of you of your camera so i will catch you in the next video on how you can check the same thing but by using geometry utility by unity so i hope you learned something and i catch you in the next video bye bye thanks for watching so if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else, user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you and I catch you guys next time.